Coming? Good boy. Let's go check out the dooleyweds in the pool. Oh, look at this. Oh, they even have like phony floaties. <laughs> did you guys just go get the floaties just for this? Yeah. You did? <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool? That is awesome. Mom was out here with us too and we put Ridge and Maddie in. And uh, Mom and Maddie went for a dive. She tipped off we one of the tube in, and Maddie yeah. went completely under the water and came up and was like, Oh, really? Maddie went clear underwater. Yeah, it was yeah. hilarious. Right on. But she can swim. Is she... the water warm? Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Oh, it's not bad. Mom, what are you doing? I'm doing some decorating. Is this for us because you just love me? Because you're 50? Sorry, mm. you're not 50 and your color's not purple. Tomorrow is my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. 50 years! 5 oh, 5 oh. And was this their actual colors? Purple. Nuh-uh, mm -hmm. for real. So Grandma and Grandpa have been married for 50 years and 50 years ago, purple was their color that they got was their for their wedding, color? their wedding colors. And tonight they're coming down to eat some of that guy's food. Bao bombs. I don't know that they're decorating and having that. Yeah, they have no idea. So Cammy's decorating, trying to make something kind of special. Yeah. So this is the meat for the bao bones, right? Yeah, the buns are in the oven. You cook this, dice it up into thinner pieces. The buns are in the oven. Yeah, if you, ooh, ooh, that was, in, that was really potent, actually. If you don't know what a bao bun is, I'll put a link up here to the bao bun video where we basically go step by step of this guy making the bao bun. Yeah. Woo! It almost smells like Asian food. Is it? Mm-hmm. Be careful putting a lot of that on because that's pretty strong top. Oh, is it really? Anniversary. Mm. Do I? Forty-nine years, eleven months, and twenty-nine days. So, in the fifty years you've been married, what's some of your greatest accomplishments? Our kids. Ooh, how many kids did you have? Three. How many grandkids? We have thirteen grandkids and nine. Nine. Nine great grandkids. Nine greats. <coughs> Excuse me. No. I have ten grandkids, great grandkids. Ten great grandkids. Ten great grandkids. Ten great grandkids. Yep. So Holy cow. That's a lot. How many basketball games do you think you've been to in your 50 years? You've been to over 4,000 basketball games. That's a goal we made a long time ago. It's like we would, if they played, we'd go to those games. How many dance recitals? Oh, oh my god. 50 gosh. plus? Yes, at least. Yep. Well, I don't know if you count Cammy. Yeah, she and she even hid well, under the chair and we she had to would go hide and under sit the chair. That. We paid for that whole year and for the recital she wouldn't even hit under she, the chair and would go. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's she wouldn't go like up on Cammie. stage. That right? sounds just like Cammy. It does. How many houses have you lived in in the fifty years? Oh, let's see. Five. Yep, five. Okay. Homes. Five homes? Five homes. How many cars have you guys had in your fifty years? Uh oh. So Dale's dad gave us, we could either, we could choose, we could either have a check for $100 or the old Oldsmobile car, and we took the old Oldsmobile. No, we, we took, took the car. The, yep, we took the car. The old green bomb yeah. and the little orange Volkswagen. And the black one that burned up in the Oh, the black one that burned up. Lot. Oh, they cool. called and said there's a car on fire in the parking lot. And it was ours. <laughs> the TL Trans Am. Oh, yeah. And the Firebird. And the Firebird, yes. Gray Oldsmobile. Brown Buick the, that the boys trashed. The, that was yeah. the jumping car. Yeah, that was Buick. the jumping car. Toyota. Gray Toyota, Jabesta Mayor. Yep. 
and the red pickup and the white one. So ten. That's no, not that's true. We, had, we have you two forgot, white ones. You forgot about the Bronco. You forgot about the oh, Jimmy. Forgot you forgot about. There's 10, 11, 12. Oh, Did yeah. you count the big bum in there? Oh, oh yeah, 13, we count the big bum. Thirteen. Yeah. How many jobs have you had? You drove fruit truck for Frank Daniels. Oh yeah. And then move and trailer, then houses. trailer houses from Las Vegas up. And slusher wholesale. And then slusher wholesale. And then cutting glass for Don Hart. And you worked at the sugar factory. Oh yeah, I was a step and house sweeper. You and Philip really? were at the sugar yeah. factory. I call it step and house sleeper. And then worked with your dad doing milk. Yep, milk. Oh, you and oh, I worked at a Coca Cola too. Yep, we worked for Coca Cola at night times. For you worked stocking shelves at food center while you went to school. Yep, that's true. And then we got firewood to pay for his college education in the afternoons. And the little boys and Cammy went from yeah. Randale. We so get four cord of wood every day, and on the weekend we get 12 cord. So I worked at the Mighty Might. <laughs> Managed it. Well, then I got a job, let's see, when Dale went back to school, I got a job at Kate Mart. That's Frank, where that car burned up. And then Is that the Kate Mart? Frank came I went over in to see her in and the car burned up. offered me a job working for that, his furniture store. So then I worked for that Daniel's Furniture Store, and then we decided to open a nursery, and then we opened the bark plant. Then I went up on campus. Let's see. And that was called the Coffee Center at first, and then yep. the Coffee Spot. Then the Coffee Spot. Yep. yep. The coffee Center. In. So how many years did you teach? Thirty-four School. years. And what grades did you teach? Third grade and fourth grade, and it took me nine years to get out of third grade. And out front, and I was. Wait. Oh, and the power went off. I guess that's it. Storm out there. What's up, dude? How you feeling? Huh? How you feeling? Way better. Remember how it used to be bright red? Yeah, that's looking way better, big guy. Let's look at this one. This one's looking good too. Tap my screen there, mom. Oh yeah, look at that. You're looking good, big guy. Oh, this one. Look at him. Like he's grown in. Look. See that? Oh, yeah. And we trimmed the little extra pieces of skin today. You know, I wished humans healed like dogs. I mean, he was like... Out of commission. If it had been you or me, we would have had to amputate our feet. We would be in wheelchairs. <laughs> Amputation. Or you just put a dog in a boot for a couple days, boom, they're good. In three days, massive. Yeah, like he had no turnaround. skin on his yeah. feet. It kind of freaky right there, dude. Give you a smile. Give you a smile. <laughs> How <about> that? <laughs> Ooh, dude, you look so weird right there. All right, let's put boots on for the night. He doesn't get to sleep without him. He'd be tore up again in the morning, I'm afraid.